I'm going to make green soup. It is a staple around here. I make it once or twice a week and it lasts for a couple of days. What you're going to need um, is an onion, a complete one. I use sweet Vidalia onion. You're going to need one potato. You're going to need some kind of stock. I'm using this. It does have one carb in it and um, let's see, I believe it's yeah, one fat. But when you calculate it out, it's still going to be the same points because it's over such a large portion. So I have my uh, parsley here. I have greens. These are collard greens or mixed greens. I believe this is actually mixed greens. I usually use collard greens. But apparently country people have three different kinds of greens that I wasn't aware of. Go country. Um, and then there's cilantro. This is spinach. I buy really big bags and then use half of a spinach bag at a time. One whole of these because I buy two of these at a time. Um, black pepper, you know, common staple, guys. And I've got my scale out again. You can see that over there. Um, I did take out an extra potato just in case because sometimes these this little potato won't do it enough. This is a, not a big potato. I don't know if you can see that. This is my hand. <laughs> Surprise! This is called a hand. It's holding a potato. Um, and garlic. My mom saw that one, so I had to bring out the new one. And lemon juice to brighten it up at the end. Um, I also like Tabasco, but I do that in individual serving sizes. Which, you know, is interesting because that was the second time I combined lemon juice and Tabasco and something that I'm making for you guys and putting on onto uh, YouTube. Okay, so here is the stuff. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to chop this up. And I'm going to take about uh, four cloves worth of garlic, so about two tablespoons or so. I'm going to put it in my pot with a little bit of oil. Um, I'm going to use one uh, teaspoon of oil just to get it started. Not any more than that because I'm really not trying to add points here. I'm just trying to, in order to incorporate stuff to get it going. And that's where I'm going to start. Um, you're going to need a lot of water for this recipe. I actually use a two liter jar or container in order to pull it all together. And it cooks down and then you blenderize it. It's really, really yummy. So onions and garlic. I'm going to put in the pot. Once that starts to um, go transparent, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper and then I'm going to put in about a tablespoon um, to two tablespoons of this. I usually about a tablespoon and a half. I like the, the beefy flavor. Feel free to use whatever you want instead. And then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Forgive my horribly stained pot, but here we go. Um, you can see this is really roughly chopped. It's not thin by any means, because later on, after everything cooks down, it's all going to be blenderized. So there's no reason to do a fine chop now. Um, I also use pre-cleaned type greens. As I showed you earlier, just because time and effort, um, these things grow in dirt and sand, so it takes a lot of cleaning, and I have in the past done it, and then find that I still have grit, even though I've done two or three washes on it. So I do this, and it's a lot faster for me, but I still do need to clean up the cilantro and the parsley again. So I'm going to go take, take care of that now, and I'll be back with you. So in the pot right now is um, the two liters of water, the slightly transparent onions, garlic, the teaspoon of olive oil, and I have not even added the black pepper, but there is the, the dark color you see there is the um, bullion powder that I just used. And I just filled this two liter container up. That's generally what I do. I just eyeball it pretty much, but it seems to work out pretty well with two liters, so that's what I'm going to go with. Now all I'm going to do is bring this to a boil and put it in there. Oh, and the potatoes in there too. The potato I did um, wind up going with the second one for a total weight that is the same as um, what you would find as in a baked potato. So if you're doing the points, um, that way you know that every serving is one point per serving, just as I have said here, um, calculated out like that. The potato is only just to starch it up and bind it a little bit. Now I want the water to come to a boil and soften those potatoes, and then I'm going to put in the other greens. This is why you need a big pot. I haven't even put the cilantro in. It is still being rinsed. I'm letting the sand settle out. And you've got the parsley in here, the spinach under there, um, and the greens. I've already emptied the bags and put them in. Um, so I will <laughs> have to push this down. There's the pepper on top too. So I'll push this down and add the cilantro. Um, but I'm using a really big pot here, big soup pot. And what I'll do is um, sort of mix in the leaves with everything else 
then I'll put a lid on it and turn it down to medium and let it cook itself out for about half an hour. After that, I'm going to throw it in the blender, I'm going to blenderize every part of it. That's why the stems are in there, because it's still good fiber, it still has good flavor, and you're not going to get a stem sticking between your teeth or anything like that. So this is actually going to work out really well. Um, I hope that you can hear okay. I am talking louder this time. Um, I know that there was a comment about that in one of the previous videos, and I was trying to keep quiet for my daughter. But, you know, truth be told, I do talk quietly, so I will try to speak up for you guys. Um, look at that. See, this is what I mean. This is going to cook way down. And now i got to go get the cilantro and put it in here. Mix things up. Put the lid on, and then I'll be back to check on it in about half an hour. Here it is, guys. Okay, this is the green soup. I am turning off the heat. I'm just going to let it cool down before I put it in my blender. Yum. Now, when you blenderize it, it may not look terribly appetizing, but it's very good, and um, my kids and I like it. In fact, I mentioned before, I make it once or twice a week, and I use it all the time, especially when I'm hungry. But if you figure um, that half a cup is standard serving for um, one serving of vegetables or fruit a day, and it takes on average about um, two cups to fill a coffee mug, then you've got four servings right there. And when I'm really hungry and I'm having a hard day with food and I want to eat a whole bunch of stuff and not spend the points, then a cup of this with some Tabasco and some lemon juice is just like heaven, especially on a cold day. It tastes really good. It tastes kind of meaty because of the broth that I used. And um, I just really like these flavors all together. Okay, so next time I come back on, it's going to be with the blender, and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Here it is, guys. This is what it looks like when it's finished. I'm going to squeeze some lemon in there. That may look like a lot to you, but I do love my lemon. And this is a very full pot, so all you need to do is just keep it warm. And I'm about to scoop some out anyway, so. But see all of that? When you juice a fruit, you miss the fiber. But when you make green soup, you get all the fiber. And it's all easily digested and goes straight to use. So, um, this is a great way to get your vitamins. Great way to get your vegetable count. Um, also, it's just awesome for getting off extra water weight, so long as you don't use a whole lot of high sodium broth in there. Sorry, just shook the ca camera. Um, but this is really, really, really good. And I like mine with Tabasco, so I'll put that in my cup when I serve it up. Doesn't that look delicious? Plus, I got a great mug. She can no longer pretend that he wasn't an idiot. Um, uh, there's my hot sauce right on top. And I'll just stir that in. And pretty much drink that all day long. It's really, really good. you got to give it a try. Alright, well thank you for watching. Remember to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.